Why would you cowboy for 800 when you could just Tempest for over 9,000? The best part of this entire FDK by far is the fact that you can play it on a beautiful trip gaming playmat. So get yours in the description below. But the second greatest part is there's no bricks in the deck. What the hell? There's literally no brick in the deck. Everyone knows what Tempest Magician does. But did you know that if you resolve one servant, you have Tempest Magician like this through any hand trap? That's what I'm talking about. Jackal, negate. Ghost Ogre, negate. Baylor, negate. This FDK is actually nuts. It's backed up by a Jackal 100% of the time. If you don't open Servant, you get Servant with Electrum. And there's no bricks in the deck. You're not playing any bricks. I've outdone myself with this one. If you guys want to see the deck profile of this video, hit the, subs hit the, hit the subscribe button before I hit you. Jokes, I won't hit my fans. I love you guys. <laughs> but if you're not subscribed, I'll whoop your ass. So hit the subscribe button, baby. And let's go straight into the video, baby. I told you. I said in the beginning of this video that this is the best Pendulum FDK in history. And you're going to witness why I'm correct and why I'm always correct. There are no bricks in the deck. It's just a typical pendulum board. A normal pendulum board with no bricks in the deck. I even brought the deck down to 43. Honestly, my updated version is 40. And it's unreal. I can't even believe I could do it. With no bricks in the deck. It's insane. And the extra deck, there's still plenty of space to play tons of cards that you want going second. And even if they imper the impermanence only hatch up to stops it. But if the impermanence the LP, you just go into a normal pendulum combo. It doesn't matter. You're gonna witness it yourself. You have anyway. I'm gonna I'm just show you guys. There's two ways to do it. Three ways to do it. One is if you open servant. You open servant. It's like guaranteed FTK no matter what. You play six servants in a 40 card deck. You're gonna draw that shit. And if you don't draw, you simply send it with Electrum. You play 25 spells in the deck or 23 spells or something like that because a chronography equals a spell. And you're gonna witness just how amazing these combos are simply by summoning the right cards off of Agar Pain and LP with no bricks in their deck. And you're gonna witness just how beautiful this is. Now you're gonna allure. Uh, oh, you're just gonna keep drawing here. This is just a normal hand. It looks great, obviously, but this is honestly a normal hand. This is what a normal hand looks like. We played two harmonizing, so we didn't wanna get rid of uh, that for sure. Pen call, get Time Gazer Magician. Why? Because when Servant resolves, you win the game. Time Gazer ensures through Ghost Ogre, you're safe. Time Gazer's not a brick, bro. Only noobs think it's a brick. If you use it properly, it's fantastic. Normal Time Gazer. Now, if you like, would you like to Ghost Ogre my Servant? Nice try, buddy. Now you can. Now we go into Electrum. Now, as you see, we purposely left a Servant here. This combo, if you look at it like this, we have, well, there's only one counter on Servant, not two, but we're going to send a second Jackal here, okay? We play two Jackal because that's how you do this combo. And that was a little mistake there. I meant to get Dragon Caller, but it really doesn't matter at all. Uh, I want Dragon Caller there. Uh, it's better to search a Dragon Caller instead of a Purple Poison. As the low scale, just in case they impermanence, you, it's good to have another dragon there in case they impermanence the Electrum. But if they impermanence the Electrum here, which is the right play if they had an impermanence, then you simply put Jackal back and you go into a normal Guard Dragon play. You have Vortex, Seal, you still have everything in here if they impermanence the Electrum. And if they're not going to save the impermanence for a thing, like there could be a Vortex coming out, they're going to use their impermanent Electrum. Especially because Jackal's out there screwed with the, any other hand trap means nothing. So Dragon Call is better in case they have hand trap on the, on the Imperm, or sorry, Imperm on the Electrum. So now we're going to send another Jackal. We're going to pop the uh, that to get a jack uh, Jackal to our hand. And now we're going to we're not going to draw simply because we nothing left the field. Servant will have one counter, but we put Harmonizers and I'll have two counters. Jackal will get three. Uh, we don't, we're not going to Pendulum summon the Harmonizing because we need to summon a Jackal from hand. If you're going to FDK, Harmonizing is just a level eight, a scale eight. You must summon the Time Gazer Magician. Time Gazer is the best magician out of all magicians in this combo because it saves your... Servant from Ghost Ogre and it's a level 3 which is very important Now you're gonna summon the Jackal that you got and you're gonna summon any monster from your hand, okay? Now you're gonna go LP now you're gonna be a little now you're gonna go triple burst LP to Surdo. nothing new here Nothing new the only difference is the monsters you special summon out So now you you don't need this special time gazer out It's just easier you can also leave the servant on field But it's just the easiest way to do it you can also search for a chronograph, which is what I like to do. If you already have double jackal, if you open the Cerberus, you can get double jackal or just summon the Cerberus or Sayuja after. Then you don't need to always scale the Cerberus. You just you want the jackals or Cerberus to get counters for you. So time gazer, you're gonna end up eventually wanting on the field. Now you're gonna go to Agar Pain. Now instead of Vortex here, let them if they want to imperm the Agar Pain or the LP, let them. You're simply just gonna go into a really cool combo, which I'm gonna show you guys that plays through this stuff anyways. So here, what you're going to do is you're going to go into Gay Derg. This card's amazing. Guy Derg, however the hell you pronounce that one. 
This card's great. It's fantastic. No one plays it because they prefer instant negate. But they don't know that this is going to get you another uh, lots of interruption by itself. Now, this is the only card, the one card in main deck that's not like regular pendulums. The entire 40, 43 card deck is regular pendulums. Completely regular pendulums. But my version of it, just the best version of it. There's no bricks, uh, nothing. The only one card that's not... Un so there's two non-pendulums. The Strudo, which you have to play anyways, but the Strudo is not a brick. It's a free special summon from anywhere. But the other card you play is also Zephyros, which is not a brick. Zephyros is amazing. This card came out in the Pendulum Structure deck. It is not a brick. It li was literally made for Pendulums. Like, it puts back anything and it's a free summon level 4. So you get two summons off Zephyros and two summons off uh, Distrudo. And if you hard draw Zephyros or Distrudo, it's still fantastic. It's actually fantastic. Because it gives you first off a play going second. It gives you more versatility and resiliency going second. And going first, it just gives you another free summon for nothing. You, you could have a, like, anyways. Let's say they imperm the LP, okay? Let's say they imperm the LP. Then what you do is you go into Romulus with the triple burst over here. This card's coming out in Rising Rampage. This card's amazing. What does it do? It gives you a free Dragon Ravine for nothing. What does this card link summon? Add Dragon Ravine to your hand. Absolutely amazing. Now, as you guys see by the title, it's a Tempest Magician FDK. So we just got a free spell card from Romulus. We're going to get a free spell from Zephyros because it's going to bounce the Tempest, the Harmonizing to our hand, which we're going to activate again. And we have two Jackals on board by this. And everything's protected by Jackals. So if they tried to Ghost Ogre, Ash, Valor, anything, it's getting negated. Now, the end combo is going to end up doing 10,000 damage. So you're free to negate twice, with each, once with each Jackal. So hand traps literally don't do shit. If you imperm, the best place to imperm was Electrum. If you did that, you do the normal Guard Dragon combo of Vortex and Seal. Nothing changes. You're still going to have 4 or 5 negates. Nothing will change whatsoever. But, if they hit the... If they hit the See if they saved it for the LP. LP and the Agar Pain go into Romulus. Romulus gets Dragon Ravine. Dragon Ravine, discard one of the cards to send the Distrudo that you wouldn't have summoned from LP. And then Distrudo specials uh, uh, targets Time Gazer, and you have a free mod. And then uh, you, it will, it's still four interruptions. It's double Jackal. It'll be double Jackal, Seal, and a Shooting Riser Dragon. And the Shooting Riser Dragon with the Jackal will turn into a. Whichever s slot you want. It can't go into Crystal Wing because then you have to play a brick in your deck. But any Synchro 7. So Dragster, whatever it may be. Or you can just straight up go into the Dragster itself. So you'll end up having a Dragster, a Seal, a Double Jackal or something like that. Uh, or sorry, it was just three of them. You'll have three interruptions if there was an Imperm. So e even if they Imperm at any time, it doesn't matter whatsoever. Uh, now you're going to keep going on this combo. Uh, you're going to now go into a Seal because you're going to need to clear space. You're going to need to summon a level, the level Zephyros on board. So you're going to Zephyros, Tempest, but now you're going to think, how the hell am I going to make a Tempest Magician Triff? Uh, where's the tuner? Well, the Strudo. Uh, but you must, that's why Zephyros comes in as well. It doesn't just give you the free, uh, four spell, it gives you five free spell counters. One on Servant and four on the Jackals. So each spell card you get equals five spell counters. That's 2,500 damage. So moving forward, every spell you get 2,500 damage to your opponent. So Dragon Ravine is 2,500 that you got from Romulus. The Zephyros spell you get 2,500. And there's already spell counters that you're going to get on the field. That's going to result in the 8,000. Plus other cards we play to burn after we do the Tempest effect. Uh, so now we're going to Distrudo targeting the Zephyros, making Distrudo level 3. Now that Distrudo is level 3, the Time Gazer that I told you is not a brick anymore. And Distrudo going to Tempest Magician. It says 1 tuner, which is Distrudo, plus 1 or more non tuner spell casters. That's the Time Gazer. Now Time Gazer's effect will trigger, adding a uh, spell counter on it. Now there are 6 spell counters on the field. The OTK, we need 16. Well, what do you know? Zephyros gave us 1. And Romulus gave us one. So activate Ravine. Five spell counters on field, please. Activate the Harmonizer. The exact same card that Zephyros brought up. Add five more. Now there are exactly 16 spell counters on the field. That's 8,000 damage. Activate Tempest Effect from hand. Just because in case they want to Valor the Tempest. Send Alliance and Dragon Caller. Now you have 18 spell counters on the field. That is 9,000 damage. Now to do over 9,000, you go into Agave Dragon after you do the 9,000. To do 9,500 damage. With, you go Agave with Tempest, Seal, and Zephyros. That's 9,000. And then if you want 10,000, you with the Double Jackal, you go into Photon Strike Bouncer, which is the second to activate one monster. That's 1,000 more damage. So that's 10k damage to the face. Now, let's say they know what you're playing. They know, no one's... If you don't Impermanence the LP or Agar Pain, what are you going to Impermanence? The fucking Vortex? You know, no one knows you're playing Tempest Magician FTK. Now, if this is game two or game three, and now they know you're playing Tempest Magician FTK, and they save the imprint for Tempest Magician randomly, fine. You know what? Let them. Then you just go Appalooza. <laughs> like, then you still get four negates, five negates like that. 
Or if you want, you guys let them do it. You, the, you're going to sell the seal. Jackal, Tamas Magician. Let's say the Imperm, the Narito in this situation. That's totally fine. XYZ, Jackal, and Tempest. Then it's a Narito. Then you have Narito, Jackal, Seal. That's still auto win. So that's uh, replay one. We're going to go replay two. Now that you guys get the drift of it, I'm going to fast forward the whole combo now. So you guys get it faster and see it faster. Okay? It's very simple to do. It's absolutely very simple to do. There's nothing crazy about the combo whatsoever. Here we didn't even open pen call. We still did it. Here we're going to do it even a different way. We're going to search the chronograph and get time gazer later by chronograph's own effect. We are literally even having a weak pendulum summon. Again, in this situation, you're, you're impermanencing the Electrum, and if you impermanence Electrum, you lost. You still got FTK'd. If you impermanence Electrum, you got FTK'd with this hand. If you know what you're playing, you're going to, like, any hand trap, you got FTK'd. You, Jackal saves you. If you imperm the LP now, uh, you just, you don't, instead of FTK, you just put up a normal pendulum board, because you're still going to get Time Gazer on field. Like, it's not the, FTK is not BL end all if they have imperm. But impermanence is the only way. If that Valor, Ash, Ogre, that does literally nothing. It's hilarious. Gamma, it does nothing. Now you're gonna do the exact same combo, exact same combo. Plus one, you're gonna keep going here. Now, like I'm gonna, like you see, just keep going. Zephyros, add back the scale, uh, Chronograph, special time gazer, Destrudo, target the Zephyros. Zephyros, you need level, level four to make Destrudo level three. Destrudo and Gazer, Tempest Magician. It's just the same combo every time. This time it was with one Jackal. You don't even need two Jackal. You don't even need two Jackal. Two Jackal is just even fun, more fun. You're gonna activate all the spot counters here uh, to get enough on everything. And that's uh, third. That's 19 spell counters. Uh, but uh, yeah, 19 spell counters. Activate Tempest Magician effect now before you link away anything, just in case you want to save the Imperm. You don't go Agave first. You so you 19 first before you did anything. If they Valor or Impermanence the sorry, the Impermanence the Tempest Magician. Even if they Valor it, you have so many counters that Jackal could freely negate it and still have enough counters. Then if they Impermanence it, you would still end up on uh, Seal. Seal and Bouncer and Dragster or something like that. Or sorry, Jackal, Jackal, Bouncer, something, I don't know. But you're still going to have three negates even with that. And now even, that, is, that was 9,500 damage. Agave would do 500, that's 10,000. Bouncer would do 11,000. So that's 11,000 damage. So I told you, there's no, like, it's amazing. I'll show you guys the deck profile in a later video. Let's get the video 500 likes and hit the subscribe button, guys. And yeah, like literally the only cards that are non-pendulum that you play main deck are just Destrudo and Zephyros. Destrudo you're playing anyways. You're playing Destrudo regardless. And Zephyros is amazing in Pendulums. You guys don't understand. Zephyros came out in the Magician Starcher deck uh, to, with the purpose of playing in Pendulums. You simply Pendulum summon it, add back a scale, and now with spell counters being a real thing in Pendulums, it has an even bigger boost. And you're not playing any bricks in your extra deck. You still have incredible amounts of space in your extra deck, you still have Boral Sword, Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Unicorn. You still have all this space. And like after signing, like, there's no... Like, I love this list. This is I was saving this list for myself, but I love you guys. Why would I not want to share it with my, with my family? Honestly, why would I not want to? That's the video, guys. I hope you guys like it. Like I said, hit the subscribe button. And when we get enough subscribers, I will release the deck profile of this video. I think it's my masterpiece. It's absolutely broken. No hand trap stops it. And honestly, it's only going to get even better from here. In the future, I'm going to be doing duels with it. Live duels. Live hand traps. I even think you can play through two hand traps. Uh, and yeah, that's the video. I hope you guys like it. I'll see you guys tomorrow's video. Peace.